What's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? So, I thought I so here's a, here once again here's another small town spotlight video, part of my ongoing series Small Town Spotlight, where I take a small town in the United States that I feel needs to that I feel like needs more recognition and needs further explanation and just like um, and also a way to just encourage people to go out and visit these places if they never have been there before. So today we're talking, today I'm talking Bar Harbor, Maine, a tiny town in the middle of not nowhere in Maine. Maine is the northernmost inhabited American, northern, um, easternmost American inhabited state. It is at the top of New England. It is known for its is known for being 99% covered in forests, the most out of any American state, being um, the gateway to the Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic, as well as for fishing. Maine is real big into their fishing. You see that everywhere in downtown Bar Harbor. I visited, I actually got the honor to visit Bar Harbor three years ago in the October of 2017. One of, in, uh, when I when I went there, it was in the middle of October. It was in the middle of the fall, autumn, fall, autumn, same thing, whatever. Um, when I got to Bar Harbor, it was a beautiful morning. All the trees were perfectly in color, were in perfect color, and it was just amazing. And um, I thought it was something like it was something that blew my mind because it was just so beautiful and different. The population of Bar Harbor as of 2018 is 5,868 as of 20. Of course, that's, that's 2018's numbers, not 2020's numbers. So if there are a little, if the number has changed since then, well, then okay then. Anyway. Bar Harbor is known as, um, the way I always look at Bar Harbor is the town where the cruise ships meet the Atlantic Ocean. Acadia National Park is smack dab in the middle of the town. Acadia National Park is what I like to consider the most beautiful national park in this country. Hidden beaches, forest, colored trees, which look absolutely amazing. Pro tip, go to, go to Acadia National Park in autumn. You will not be disappointed. Bring a camera. It is the most photogenic national park in America. That's just some personal experience. Um, also, I went to, um, I got to go to a, a specific, um, I got to go to this be one beautiful lighthouse. One little known fact about me is that I love lighthouses. Um, because they're, um, I just, um, I've always had a little thing for lighthouses, so we found one in Bar Harbor. It was the, it was Acadia National Park. It was right on Acadia National Park. It was like their lighthouse, their signature lighthouse that they had on the, um, on the park. The light, there's a lighthouse, and then there was the ocean. There was the Atlantic Ocean right next to it. I was able to be, um, I, the time when I went there was, it was, um, it was right at sundown. It was right when the sun was setting. And I think um, that was literally the best sunset I've ever seen. I got to stand, I sat on this rock and I, I got to watch the sun going down on the water, on the Atlantic Ocean, from uh, just a rock that I was sitting on, but surrounded by a bunch of tourists. And at that moment I realized, holy crap, this is the farthest I've ever been from my home in or here in Arizona. That was the um, main, the state of um, when I uh, when I stepped into the city, the when I stepped into the state limits, the state um, when I um, sorry, when I drove into Maine, when I drove in um, past the border, past the um, New Hampshire Maine border, that was that marked that marked that was when I officially entered. I was the one officially not only entered Maine, but entered the farthest state, the farthest I've ever been from Arizona. It was all the way at the top 
of New England is Maine. So, um, as soon, uh, um, it was a beautiful foggy morning when I arrived in Maine. Um, I just woken up in another small town. The next, um, another small town that, um, oh, that was next video, small town spot like uh, Gorham, New Hampshire. I woke up in Gorham, New Hampshire. Turned in the car, drove into Maine, and my mind was blown. Maine is seriously the most beautiful state I think I've ever seen, especially in autumn, because all the trees are perfectly in color. They're perfectly like out and they're like in they're perfectly in season. All the trees are different colors and it's absolutely amazing. There's quiet streams, like quiet little lakes and rivers everywhere. And that just make it um, an amazing part of the experience. Anyway, back to Bar Harbor. Acadia National Park is what comes to define this, the town of Bar Harbor. The town is a, the town, um, one thing you have to realize about Bar Harbor, it's a fishing town. You're more than likely going to need a fishing pole or in a fishing license if you're going to, you know, live there. Because you'll be bombarded by photos, by pictures of lobster, crab, shrimp, anything that comes from the ocean, anything you can come, anything you can get out of the ocean, you can eat in Bar Harbor, pretty much. I remember I went to this restaurant, it was right on the, uh, it was right on the ocean. Um, I was at a seafood restaurant, um, right on, like right on the water, it's the furthest I've ever been from Arizona. And, like, that was when I realized, that was the moment when, like, you know what, never mind. I said so much about cliche already, it's kind of starting to get old. But anyway, Bar Harbor is an amazing, quiet, small fisher's town that, with the amazing national park, and really, um, it's really a place you would go if you really want to be away from your life, because it's so far away and isolated. It's a completely new environment, just a completely new place to be and a new outlook on life. It lasts, uh, the reason why Bar Harbor always has always loved an amazing, it's just a long lasting impression on me after three years since I visited the town, is it's just so freaking beautiful. The trees when they're in season, the cruise ships on the, oh, on the cruise ships on the water, Acadia National Park um, is, literally the most amazing national park for so many different reasons like there's a lot of hidden beaches so um and if you find the right one if you go if you go to the right hidden beach at the right time um you can you're literally um and i think the cool thing is as you're looking out on the water on the ocean in maine you're looking out how you're looking out towards atlantic ocean and europe like uh, in fact, it's fairly easy to get from Maine to um, another part of the, this like, um, into the Arctic Circle or to Europe. By the way, Maine as a whole is, an, is a beautiful place. It's one of my favorite states in the United, it's one of my favorite American states, if not my all-time favorite. Quiet streams, beautiful trees, quaint small towns, fishing lakes. It's a frontier state, it's an outdoors person state it's one of i think i think maine is extremely underrated in most cases like no one almost no one pays any attention to the state of maine and i think that's sad it's one of my favorite american states for reasons i just listed and if you haven't already check out bar harbor visit bar harbor give it some love it's one of my favorite small towns in america it's yeah so when you do some, um, of course, do some research on it. Um, pro tip, go to Bar Harbor in the, month, in the season of autumn. Bring a camera. You will not be disappointed. Because those, holy crap, those trees are just beautiful. They're just beautiful. If, when, you think of, um, when you think of autumn and trees being in the pine trees in color, you think of Maine. And oh, it's beautiful. Either way, I don't want to make this video go out in 10 minutes so be sure to like subscribe comment see you later